Wow, did you hear what that stewardess asked me? No. Yeah, she asked if we were in a band and if oh. we were playing tonight. So did you tell her we're playing with Ted Nugent? Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. So this is the first time we've actually been able to say that we're playing with Ted and we really are playing with Ted. I say it all the time, but <laughs> for once it's actually true. This is sweet and we're going hunting with him. Yeah. I mean, does it get any better than that? Presented by Global Rescue. There when you need us most. My partner in crime on this Rugged X adventure is no other than my bro, Monty Smith. Of course, you know that Monty and I write and record all the music for the Rugged Expedition shows at Monty's studio in Seattle. Monty has played with tons of famous and talented musicians over the years, and he can hold his own on the bass or the drums, the keyboards, but especially the guitar, he can hang with just about anyone when it comes to picking. He's also pretty good with the camera. You've seen him when we went over to Uganda that time, had a great trip over there, well, he's back. And on this episode, we're going down to the great state of Texas to collect some back straps and some tenderloins. Hosting this fun hunt and jam session was Quazy and Jeff Ran at their incredible 777 Ranch near Hondo, Texas. The 777 has got all kinds of exotic species. I mean, it's like going on an African safari. There's all kinds of critters running around, as well as Ted and I's favorite venison provider, a white-tailed deer. Everything about the 777 Ranch is first class. So, you know, this might not be as rugged of an expedition as some of our trips, I'm just saying. Nothing wrong with pampering yourself once in a while. What you know, son? How are you? Oh, well, now the shit's gonna hit Mr. the fan, Nugent, right? I presume? Good to see you. God you? bless you, man. Good, Good to meet you. you. Now I realize that everybody knows who Ted Nugent is. And everybody has an opinion about Ted. But love him or hate him, we all know he's a fantastic hunter. I'll take that. And he's a one-of-a-kind musician. But I'll bet there's a side to Uncle Ted that you've never seen broadcast on the mainstream media. The liberal press, they seem to forget about all the good things that people like the Nuge do. Take, for example, his Camp for Kids. Ted Nugent's Camp for Kids was founded by Ted in 1990. The goal? To get kids out of the malls, off the streets, away from drugs and crime, and into the woods. It's where we belong, and it's the best place to teach a child about morals and ethics and our role as caring humans to manage and respect the wildlife around us. Now that's the side of Uncle Ted you've probably never seen or heard about. Am I right? Well, one of the missions in my life is, of course, to get more kids out into the outdoors. So when I heard about it, I contacted Ted and asked, what can I do to help? If I added up all the time that I've spent beyond the pavement, it is directly attributable to my quality of life, I promise you that. It's hard to beat it, isn't it, for yeah. get, keeping your mind clear? One of the things I've found out about hunting, everyone feels the same way about how lucky we are to get to enjoy the life that we do. And wouldn't it be great if we could spread that word more about all the benefits of sustainable use hunting? You know, a lot of people don't realize, and I salute you for being a force of education for real tooth, fang, and claw, hands-on conservation, but this hunting lifestyle is so precious and so perfect and so needed in the modern world. And it's the chore that we're faced with is educating the public and trying to get the message out to the people because you know that when you get the chance to talk to folks about what we do and the lifestyle and the hunting culture and sustainable use conservation, that, that you always convert them once they get the message. Every time we can literally destroy a lifetime of propaganda with just a few moments of science that is so logical and easily understood that they grasp it. And I have a battle cry for perseverance. Sometimes you give the world the best you got 
and you get kicked in the teeth. Give the world the best you got anyway. And that's what you do. I salute you. Thanks. All we right. have a lot of work ahead of us. Glad to be here with you, man. This is awesome. You and I deserve each other. Okay, now shoot straight. This is good stuff. Now all I can tell you, Smith, is sharpen your damn knife. <laughs> it's about to be time to kill it and grill it. Jeff Rand had seen some big deer, as well as a couple cull deer, that he wanted taken out, and they were hanging out next to this grove of trees that had a bow blind and a ground blind near it. This is our secret spot. Ted doesn't know that we're coming to the honey hole. We stuck him up in a tree over there. We'll see what happens, but you know, sometimes you gotta pull seniority and just go for the gall. Hot spot all by yourself. Well, hallelujah, we're back in Texas, the greatest hunting epicenter for backstrap addicts in the world. And Alan's over here in a ground blind with a seven mag. <laughs> and I'm up here with my Matthews Triax. And if the deer come out close to the acorn grove here, I'm gonna let him have it. As long as he doesn't shoot across the field, we're gonna find out what he's made out of. So we're cocked, locked, ready to rock. This is the spirit of the wild, and I'm feeling mighty good. We hadn't been in the blind very long when deer started sneaking out of the woods. Ted Nugent just missed? The Whack'em and Stack'em King? Well, it just goes to show you that even the best and most experienced hunters get buck fever. We decided to take a break, go back to the lodge, get some lunch, grab the guitars, and make some magic happen. That's all Chuck Berry is where it all started. Everybody plays Johnny Be Good. We got to play now. Yeah, bring that, check that amp out, see if that works. How about a little less? Crossroads. Fell 
play that good? Monty smokes it. Oh. You better watch that thing when you leave. There's even people that just hang around and play like such a bitch. You know what I mean? That's awesome. A little fake slide. Goddamn makes us professionals really work hard. <laughs> All right, Alan. Okay, man. Now, now I'm telling you, I have orders for back straps. Could you come through for me? <laughs> Please. Filet mignon, perhaps, tonight? Yes, some bacon wrapped. Awesome. So you're going up in the tree stand. Yes, indeed. I'll yeah. keep my eye on you. You keep your eye on me. Okay, you. I'm going to head over into the bushes, All right. and there's a secret blind back there. It's very secret. That, that's supposed to be a real honey hole. You're a secret so. guy. You know, our getting together and jamming on electric guitar shouldn't be a secret. You really play great, man. Hey, that inspired me. I want to kill something. It's fun to play. Yeah, I'm, I'd hate to be the next deer that walks out. I'm a little jacked up right now. Jacked up. Right. Good luck. Not going to be Aim small, miss small. Look at this freak McNasty deer walking out. This was one of the bucks that Jeff wanted out of the herd, but he said, hey, hold off and wait and see if that big wide one that Ted missed would come back. And if he will, that'll give Ted another crack at him.
those big bucks showed up all right. Thank you, Jesus. We're not calling him the redemption buck because he came out right in front of me. Sorry, Ted. That's the same deer that did and that malfunction. How sweet is that? Not that we're going to rub his nose in or anything. No, we'd never do that. At least we can say that we shot a deer that Ted Nugent passed him. Yeah, exactly. Did I say that out loud? That's a buck of a lifetime. How about that? Look at the size of that thing. Look at him. Boy, oh boy, triple seven ranch, here I come. Look at it, huh? Look this at the is length nuts. of those beams, man. Does he look a little familiar? Oh my goodness, yes. Yeah. Look out there, I'm easy. This is my bow testing yeah, bike. Hey, I'm gonna on. sit back here like I'm sharing it with you. <laughs> Isn't that <laughs> something? Are you kidding me? Look at all the extra stuff on him, huh? Just unbelievable. Triple seven ranch, Hondo, Texas. Jeff Rand knows what he's doing here, I think. Kicking out another monster buck. <laughs> it's great, yeah. great. Yeah. Nice job, Jeff Rand. Jeff, Triple seven heaven. What a great, a great buck. What, what a, what a hunt. And once again, it's important to remember that Shikar Safaris and Alan and Jeff at Triple Seven, you guys have made this hunt possible to raise money for our incredible kids' charity, Ted Nugent Camp for Kids. It's a 501c nonprofit, strictly volunteer, where we literally save kids' lives. It's an awesome. Program. Teach them about aim small, miss small marksmanship, the mystical flight of the arrow, being clean and sober, putting your heart and soul into everything that you do, and how the great outdoors can, you know, cleanse the soul, change your life. Well, let's go get this guy back. I think we got to do a little skinning. I'm ready to rock, Don. I'm ready. I'll, I'll cook dinner for everybody. Right on. <laughs> now we're talking. What a great deer. Hallelujah. <laughs> Backstrap fever, baby. <laughs> Wasn't there a song something like that? I think so. Uh, 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 uh. Get him. Uh, uh, uh. That backstrap fever.